My name is Clay Nelson. I'm a personal trainer here at the Student Rec Center. Today for our Wellcast, we'll be teaching you how to calculate your target heart rate zones. That way, when you want to work out, you can achieve the results you want. It is important to know your heart rate zones, to know how hard your body is working during your exercises. Each heart rate zone works the body in different ways and will help you to achieve different goals. Calculating your heart rate zones is very easy. First, take the number 220 and subtract it by your age. This number is your estimated maximum heart rate. Once you have this number, simply multiply by a percentage you want the workout at. It will give you your target zone for that workout. For example, a 20-year-old will be working at a heart rate between 55 and 85% of his maximum heart rate. So the formula is as follows. 220 minus age 20 equals 200 beats per minute. To calculate 55% of his maximum heart rate, you take 200 times 55% equals 110 beats per minute. To calculate 85%, you take 200 times 85%, which equals 170 beats per minute. The target hurry zone is 110 to 170 beats per minute for this workout. Now that you know your target heart rate zone, how do you monitor what working out? Easy. The student rec center has heart rate monitor, which you can check out here on the cage. Hervé will show you how to put it on. You clip it on around your chest, pull it up to your ribs. This part of the monitor will be placed right on top of your sternum, under your shirt, against your skin. Now that you have your wireless heart rate monitor on, it's time to put it to use. First, you'll find a piece of cardiovascular equipment that indicates that it receives the heart rate monitor signal. On the machine, you'll see a button indicated by a heart. Push that, and on display will pop up your heart rate monitor, which will give you your display throughout your workout. There are four zones which we will talk about today. Zone one is 50 to 60% of your maximum heart rate. This zone is for beginners or people who have not worked out in a long time. This is also good for a warm up or cool down beginning or ending your workout. Zone two is 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate. This zone is where the heart begins seeing benefits from exercise. This zone is also good for slow, long distance exercises. Zone three is 70 to 85% of your maximum heart rate. This is called the aerobic zone. This zone is optimal for increasing your aerobic capacity and burning more fat. Zone four is 85 to 90% of your maximum heart rate. This is where the body shifts to anaerobic training. Primarily used by people who want to increase the performance level. You will only be able to train in this zone for a short period of time, such as interval training. Also, you should only train in this zone if you're very fit. Now that you have a better idea of how to use your heart rate zones, put them to use and you'll reach your goals in no time. Thank you for tuning in for another installment of Wellcast series. Check in next week for more tips on how to stay healthy. My name is Clayton Allison, and you stay well at WU.